Hey everyone, my name is Sartak Garg. I am 26 years old and based out of New Delhi, India. I hold a degree in electrical engineering and I work as a specialist in technology sales for a large cap global firm. I recently wrote my GMAT and scored a 740 on it with a quant 51. And I want to give a massive shout out to the entire Target Descript team because honestly, without them, none of this would have been possible. And I attribute every single bit of this code to them. Through this video, I would like to share my learnings and experiences with all of you so that you could also get one step closer to your targets. Now, my GMAT journey started late last December by creating a free account on gmatclub.com. It's a wonderful platform that allows you to try out various test prep providers for free for a week or two upon signing up. And if you use that opportunity judiciously, you can actually end up making a very calculated and informed decision about what works for you and what does not. So it was during this time that I came across a lot of competitors of Target Test Prep and I honestly did not have a very good experience with them. So some of them had very dense or difficult to follow user interfaces. Some of them only presented the very hard level problems uh, in a way creating a hype around the exam and their platforms. And most of them had mentors who were extremely difficult to reach out to. So when I headed over to Target Test Prep, I suddenly realized that none of these problems actually existed with Target Test Prep. And it indeed was one of the most student-friendly prep providers out there. Now, TTP stood out to me for a host of other reasons as well. Uh, for starters, I was working on a limited time frame and TTP presented me an assessment test upfront. Now, this is not one of those five question short quizzes gimmicky kind of thing. It's a meticulously prepared full blown diagnostic test that I had to attempt with my utmost sincerity and would as a result give me my strengths and weaknesses. These coupled with my target test score and the time available in my hand gave me a personalized study plan instead of a one size fits all program that most of the prep companies generally do. So now that I had a fine blueprint of what I had to practice and what I had to study in depth, I actually did not have to scramble around for resources. So when we talk about the TTP curriculum, I've got to say that it's one of the most comprehensive, neatly structured and detailed curriculum out there. You know, I see a lot of TTP students saying that it gets slightly overwhelming at times. And I would honestly admit that at some point of time during my preparation, I would have also felt the same. But in retrospect, I realized that if you have to score really well on the exam, you need to be able to ace the advanced level problems. And you cannot do that by superficial learning. You've got to have a firm grasp on the fundamentals. And that's what TTP curriculum does for you. So yeah, if you're having this issue, I would say that just hang in there and stay dedicated because it's going to be one of the best returns on investment of your time. Now, when we come to the TTP problem bank, I've just got to say that it's enormous and it's top notch. You know, one very cool feature about the problem bank is that whenever I got a problem wrong, they would not just give me the solution to that problem, but they would also give me reference material to read further about those concepts. So the next time when I faced such a problem, I would be all geared up for it. And the entire TTP team is super approachable on the chat. I mean, Scott, Jeff, Marty, you reach out to them at any point of time during the day and they would make sure to reply to you as promptly and as instantaneously as it's possible for them. So, I mean, that's one really cool plus point. You know, I don't really see that uh, for a lot of prep providers. So, so apart from these things, I also had a very personal connection with TTP. So they conduct these series of webinars called Thursdays with Jeff and Fridays with Marty, which are basically 45 to 60 minute long sessions conducted every week on a new topic. And what they essentially do is that, you know, initially for the first 10 to 15 minutes, they run through the concept and then they solve some four to five cool, interesting problems. And this is super helpful for people like me, especially who are working 60 to 80 hours work weeks. And at times they find it difficult to keep in track with the studies. So with the help of this, uh, these webinars, you can make sure that, you know, you are in touch with your preparation in some form or the other. And uh, when you head over to these webinars, you can actually see Jeff and Marty and sometimes Scott, you know, solve these problems live in front of you. So that actually instills a lot of confidence in you and you learn some cool new tricks and you get to understand so much more about the test than you would by just preparing yourself. So you know, those webinars became my go-to for the last six to seven months and I made sure to attend them without a miss. So there's one more thing about TTP and that's about the psychological conditioning. 
Now, this is something which I feel that is not adequately valued in our test prep ecosystem. And this is something which constitutes almost half of the exam. So, you know, I see that a lot of students get the studying and the test taking part right. But when it comes to conditioning your brain, when it comes to training your brain for the exam day, uh, that's where I think TTP helps you massively. So if you look at the TTP website, you would see that there are a lot of blogs written by Scott and Marty, which address this particular issue. And they tell you how you can picturize your score, how you can visualize the exam day, how you can meditate to help keep your mind clear. And, uh, you know, Marty particularly talks a lot about this extensively during his webinars. And this is something which I found extremely helpful for me personally, because I am someone who panics over the littlest of the things. But that day when I went to the exam center, my mind was as clear as anything and I could perform to the best of my potential. So this is something that I think you should also pay good attention to. And if you want to read further about this or if you want to learn more about how you can keep your mind clear and how you can maximize your score, I think you should really get in touch with Marty on this. So now that we have covered most of the things, I would like to share a few quick takeaways. Number one would be to practice, practice and practice. And I cannot emphasize on that enough. You know, the more you practice, the better off you're going to be. You know, I see a lot of test prep educators claim that it's the quality that triumphs over quantity. And I think that it is kind of misleading. You know, I firmly believe that unless you've really seen 10, 15 different variations of a problem that exist, you're definitely going to find one or two problems on the test day that are absolutely going to bamboozle you and derail your momentum. And you wouldn't want that to happen. You know, in fact, if I look at my error log, I think I completed nearly 8,000 questions across TTP, GMAT Club, OG Guides, and so on. So that's the extent to which I went. Number two would be to play by your strengths. You know, there are going to be certain areas that you're going to be good at, and there are going to be certain areas that you're not going to be good at, and it's perfectly natural to be so. The key here is that, you know, if you're good at certain things like, say, uh, problem solving and data sufficiency and reading comprehension like I was, so what you would ideally want is that you maximize your score in these sections and you attain 100% accuracy. Because, see, every single point that you gain in the raw score corresponds to nearly a 10-point jump in the scale score. So play by your strengths and try to cover your weaknesses as much as possible, but try to squeeze every single bit of score out of the things, out of the sections that you're really good at. Number three would be to, you know, always be humble and be eager to learn. You know, I see a lot of students come here with the mindset of conquering the exam. And I don't think it's particularly very healthy. See, at the end of the day, you're coming here to learn some new fundamentals, apply them on a test. And these fundamentals are also going to serve as the foundation of your business curriculum. So it's not very healthy to come here with the closed mind or with the mindset of proving something to somebody, right? So be eager, be humble, and always just keep looking forward to learn new things. Uh, I think I already touched upon psychological conditioning. And uh, one more thing that I would like to add here is just own your score. You know, it's uh, good to push yourself hard, as hard as you can to attain your dream score. But, uh, you know, for example, say if you were planning a 740 and if you end up getting a 680, don't beat yourself up for it. Right. I mean, uh, it's not very healthy and it's not the end of the world. You know, there are several more things in your entire application apart from the GMAT. And if you make this your center of the world, if you make this your everything, uh, you are not setting yourself up for a good time in the coming uh, weeks or months. So, yeah, I mean, own your score and just strive hard to you not know, do better, but uh, be happy and be content with uh, what you're able to perform. Right. And uh, yeah, I think one thing I would like to end by saying is that, uh, you know, just identify a few resources that work for you and stick with them. You know, you don't really need to boil the ocean, right? For example, uh, TTP worked for me and I'm pretty sure it's going to work well for you as well. So you don't really need to go around and look for a thousand different resources. Just identify what works for you and stick with it, right? So I think that uh, pretty much covers everything that I wanted to share with you all today. And uh, just want to mention the TTP team again, uh, you know, Scott, Jeff, Marty, you know, you guys have been absolutely wonderful. And, uh, you know, I have nothing but the praises for all the contribution and all the, you know, meaningful uh, things you have added in my life over the course of our last eight, 10 months association. And, uh, you know, in fact, uh, for all the students who are watching this video, I would say that, you know, if you're just starting your GMAT journey and, uh, you know, finding, trying to find a good start point, I think TTP is the place to be at. You know, just head over to the website, start a free trial, and we are absolutely going to love it, 
right and uh, yeah i would be very happy to address any further questions that you guys might have uh, you know please shoot them in the comments below and i wish you all the very best uh, i wish ttp team all the very best for the coming months and yeah goodbye Thank you.